Hi, welcome to another episode of Zone Out and I've been using the iPad Pro for about a week and I find that the larger display is really great for surfing the web and also watching videos. Today, we're going to talk to six other people to find out what they think about the iPad Pro and also the new Apple accessories for the iPad Pro, the Apple Pencil and the Smart Keyboard. Okay, so what do you think of the larger display of the iPad Pro? I think it's pretty cool uh, because, you know, all along the iPads are smaller size. Now you have a huge one and you can multitask easily and you can still see like two panels over here. Pretty awesome. I like the large screen. Especially when you like watch videos at home. But then you gotta train your arms like in case you drop on your face, then that might hurt. But otherwise the big screen is good. It's actually bigger than the iP iPad mini. So uh, if like you want to do your work and watch video at the same time, it's very convenient. I guess it, it really depends on what you really be using it for. If I'm just using it for videos, then yeah, I would maybe get this. My only thing is like, it's still a bit heavy, but otherwise, I think it's a good size. On the iPad and the iPad mini, the text isn't so big, but since the screen is big enough, if you do the half screen function, you can still see the text. So can you tell us more about your experience with the iPad Pro and the smart keyboard? Mm, in general, I thought the keyboard was a bit weird. It's like a whole new texture, so I think that needs getting used to. But yeah, it's still not bad, and I type fairly well on it. Yeah. Not too bad, uh, the smart keyboard, but it's a bit flat. But well, you still can type things out. Uh, I wouldn't get it though. I don't know, the keyboard isn't very nice to type in because of the depth of the keys. I feel I've typed faster on this, but the errors happen more. Seems good, good, easy to use, quite comfortable to type in. If I were to get this, I'd probably get the keyboard. Okay, so you draw quite a bit for your work. How do you find the iPad Pro and also the Apple Pencil? Um, I think it's quite um, easy for you to draw. It works just the same as on pen and paper, like normal pen and paper. It's just that it's very um, spontaneous. Uh. It's not laggy. The pressure is very good for um, this stylus, it's quite easy because um, you just have to use from your pressure, from your hand pressure and things like that. Yeah. I think that the pencil is quite interesting as you can use it at different angles and the, the pressure sensitivity and all that is it's quite cool uh, if you're like drawing on tablets I guess. But I still prefer drawing for pencil on paper. Oh, it's actually quite good. Like, yeah, it's very fluid and um, I really like the shading and the different kind of like, it looks like water paint. Yeah. Yeah, the pencil is really sensitive, la, as you can see, you know. It doesn't lag. I think when you put your hand on it, it still can work. Yay. Yay for the pencil. Yay. So, uh, the iPad Pro costs upwards of 1188 Would you still buy it? Probably not. Just because it's expensive? Yeah, maybe I'll just get the iPad mini. No, but Christmas is coming. If you want, you can give, it, uh, give me as a gift, I don't mind. But I wouldn't buy it for myself. I guess I would do a conversion uh, or maybe a convert from from that to this one because I think it's really um it's really awesome. I would just use it every day instead of once a week. <laughs> if it's about 800, I think I might get it. If I had the money, yes, definitely. So maybe next year. <laughs>